Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha, if you guys are new here. In today's video, I'm doing another self-care pamper routine. I know a lot of you guys love when I film these videos, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. So I first like to start off with using my jade tools. These are going to help with reducing wrinkles, contouring the face. It'll also help with the puffiness under my eyes and the tension between my forehead. I'm going in with the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser and the Duval Radiance Facial Brush. This is a super lightweight cleanser. I like to use this one every day because it leaves my skin feeling super refreshed. And then the brush just helps get a nice deep cleanse to the skin. I'm using the Oral-B Super Floss. This is my favorite floss because it has three different flosses on it, a stiffened threader, a spongy floss, and a regular floss. I like to use this because I have a permanent metal retainer on my bottom teeth. Now I'm using the Fairy Will P11 toothbrush with the Crest 3D whitening paste. I've really grown to like electric toothbrushes. I feel like it helps with removing plaque and this one has a built-in timer so it makes sure I'm brushing for a good amount of time. Now I'm just going in with the Crest Pro Health mouthwash. This leaves your breath nice and fresh, helps to fight any cavities and kills bacteria. Now I'm going to go in with these tweezers to pluck my eyebrows. I personally like to do my eyebrows myself. I find plucking them is just a lot easier and more convenient for me. Now I'm going in with a facial razor. I like to do this to remove the dead skin on my face. This will help make my makeup apply nice and evenly and make my skin look nice and smooth. avoid using this on my nose and areas with a lot of acne. Now I'm going to go in with my facial steamer by Lux Skin. This will help to hydrate and soften the skin and help remove any toxins and dirt from the pores. Also warning if you're sensitive to removal of blackheads, I'm going to be extracting them with this tool I got from Walmart. Starting off with the Olaplex number no. 4 shampoo, this will help to repair and protect the hair from any split ends and frizziness. This shampoo is super refreshing, it has a beautiful scent, and it always leaves my hair looking really shiny and healthy. Using the Olaplex number no. 8 moisture mask. This is instead of a regular conditioner. I'm doing a deep conditioner because it is a pamper routine, so I'm doing something a little extra. This will add shine, smoothness, and body to the hair. For body wash, I'm using the Ole Ultra Moisture in Coconut Oasis. This will help nourish the body and help treat any dryness by adding a long lasting moisture. And then I'm just using it with a silicone body scrubber, which helps to remove the dirt while gently exfoliating. Next, I'm using the Organic Intimate Wash. This is a gentle feminine wash and has a really pleasant scent. I'm using the Gillette Shaving Cream for sensitive skin and the Gillette Men's Shaver. I just like the men's shavers a lot better. I feel like it gives me a closer shave and leaves my skin nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to use the Body Blends Glacial Dip Body Glow Exfoliating Hydrator. This helps smoothen my skin, improves the texture. This is like a mask, so I like to leave this on for about 5 to 10 minutes. And while I do that, I'm going to use this foot file, foot braider, whatever you call these, just to remove the dead skin and smoothen and soften the feet. and use this Equate Green Tea and Ginger Peel-Off Mask. This will revitalize the skin. It also helps with any dry skin to help soothe it. And it's going to be really calming after doing things like extractions. Also going to use these fairy well teeth whitening strips um, I'm using the delicate ones for about a half an hour while I do my laser hair removal so I will just dry my teeth and then apply those and for clothing today I want to be super comfortable I found so many cute sets off of Amazon I'll link them down below then I'm going to light my candles in my room just to set a little bit of a vibe create a nice and calm space and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my Lux Skin Premium IPL Laser Hair Removal. I have noticed a huge difference since starting laser hair removal at home especially. I feel like it's just more convenient, it's more comfortable. I'm so happy that I started doing this because this has definitely been a game changer. It is a little bit painful on the underarms and bikini line, but those areas are the harder areas to remove the hair. So it just takes a little bit longer, but I am definitely noticing a difference. I am now going in with the Olaplex number no. 7 bonding oil on the ends of my hair. This will add some shine, strengthen the hair, and help with heat protecting. I think it's time to remove this mask. I'm gonna start peeling it off. This is so satisfying to me. I wanted to do a nice smooth peel. Now I'm going to go in with the Lux Skin Blow Brush. This is actually the first time I'm trying it. I definitely thought it was more convenient than using a blow dryer and round brush. You don't really have to think too much about it. I thought this did a really good job drying my hair. I do wish it was a little higher in power. I'm just removing the whitening strips. I'm gonna go ahead and get into my skincare. I'm starting off by using niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. Both really help with redness and minimizing the look of pores. And they also help with fine lines and wrinkles and then just giving you an overall even appearance. For moisturizer, I'm using the Inky List Simbrite. I like to use this one daily. I feel like it's super lightweight and it's said to improve the appearance of uneven skin. Now I'm going to go in with the CeraVe Eye Cream. This is super delicate for the under eye and it's good for dark circles and puffiness. Then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Calm Balm Lip Balm. Now I'm going to use my favorite combo. This is the Nivea Firming Body Lotion and the Palmer's Coconut Body Oil. This is my favorite combo. It leaves the skin super moisturized, softens the skin, hydrates, and just gives you an overall glow for the rest of the day. Next, I'm going to go ahead and start my nails. But before I do that, I do want to show off today's sponsor. 
which is Rose Forever. I've actually worked with them before. They are a New York based brand that specializes in creating luxurious flower arrangements. They're a perfect gift for a loved one or even for yourself. You know, you can always treat yourself to a beautiful bouquet of flowers, especially when it works as decor around the house. This box in particular has 36 preserved roses in the color ivory. But there are multiple colors to choose from and three different sizes come in these boxes. You can get 9 roses, 16 roses, and 36. Also two different shapes you can choose from, a round shape or a square shape. So yeah, I will have everything linked down below including a discount code if you guys are interested. So to start off, I'm going to trim my nails with a nail clipper and then I'm also going to use a cuticle trimmer. Just getting rid of any extra skin we have around the cuticle area. Next, I'm going in with the McCart base coat. And I'll go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. So for my nails, I'm using Poly Gel by McCart. And the one I'm using, I don't think I actually showed you guys by accident, so I will have it linked down below. But it was from one of McCart's collections, and it is in the color Coral. It's got like a very translucent color to it, but I'm just going to go ahead and shape it onto the dual form into my desired shape and length. But I go ahead and stick that on my thumb, and then I make sure to wipe away any extra poly gel that's peeking out on the sides. And then I'm going to go ahead and cure that for a minute and then just with a little bit of movement it should come off. I personally like to do my poly gel nails individually. I feel like I just do a lot better when I do that. I'm not that experienced with using poly gel so this just works well for me but it definitely is a longer process. Now that we have our poly gel nails applied, I'm going to go ahead and take a nail file and just start filing out the shape. I'm also going to use a shaping block as well and then also go in with a nail drill around my cuticles. I'm just going to keep going back and forth with all three and just making sure that I'm getting the desired shape I want. I'm going to go ahead and rinse off this hand from all the dust and then we're going to go in with our top coat. This is the Vyshine base coat and then I'm going to cure that for a minute. For color, I'm using the Vyshine number 8. This is a beautiful nude pink and I'm going to go ahead and clean the sides before I cure it. course I'm going to cure it for a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and speed it up but I'm doing three coats of the number eight by Shine gel polish. So I decided to do something a little different with my nails. I'm going in with the Amelie number 11 gel polish. This is just the color white and I'm going to create some wavy lines in my nails. This doesn't have to be perfect. This is kind of your own little creation. And I may go in with a second coat but I'm curing this for a minute. So I wanted to add something a little extra to these nails. I have all these really pretty gems and rhinestones and just decor for the nails. This is all from McCart. I'll have their website linked down below. I decided to go with these really mini rhinestones and I'm just using this nail glue that came with some of the decor. So I decided to place the rhinestones near the cuticle area where the line meets it. Then just curing that for a minute. And then I'm just finishing off with the Vyshine gel polish top coat. Then I'm going to go ahead and use some cuticle oil. And that is our nails. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do my toenails now. I'm doing the same prep for my toes except I'm just using the Amelie number 11 in white. I like to do three coats and finish off with top coat and that is pretty much it for my toes. Plain and simple, I always like white toes and then finishing off with some cuticle oil. Just showing you guys another view of my nails. I was so happy with how they turned out. Now I'm going to get ready for bed so I'm going to go ahead and brush my teeth. I'm gonna go ahead and light some candles. And I do wanna use my Foreo UFO 2 Call It A Night Mask. This will help me relax for the rest of the night. I really love the warmth that it gives to my skin. It makes me feel so like sleepy afterwards. It adds moisture and revitalizes and nourishes the skin. So I like to do this one. You can do as many sessions as you want. They're about a minute and a half each. So I like to do two. And then I'm all ready for bed. So thank you guys for tuning in on my self-care pamper routine. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.